Little Women, Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy, and Lisa and Alcott. Okay. Video number two. I'm making sure my storage is not full. <laughs> oh, it's just fabulous. Where were we? Oh, the one fashion bookmark. And I'm trying to do this when there is natural light. Pretending I don't have electricity. Okay. I plan to spend mine in new music, said Beth with a little sigh, with no which no one heard but the hearth brush and kettle. Older. I shall get a nice box of fa uh, Faber's drawing pencils. There's a Faber's. I really need them, said Amy decidedly. Mother didn't say anything about our money, and she won't wish us to give up everything. I know I re I'm rereading this. I'm sorry. Let's each buy what we want and have a little fun. I'm sure we work hard enough to earn it, cried Joe, examining the heels of her shoes in a gentlemanly manner. I know I do, teaching those tiresome children nearly all nearly all day, when I'm longing to enjoy myself at home, began Meg, in the complaining tone again. You don't have half such a hard time as I do, said Joe. How would you like to be shut up for hours with a nervous, fussy old lady who keeps you trotting, is never satisfied, and worries you till you're ready to fly out of the window or cry. It's naughty to fret, but I do think washing dishes and keeping things tidy is the worst work in the world. It makes me cross, and my hands get so stiff, I can't practice well at all. And Beth looked at her rough hands with a sigh that anyone could hear that time. I don't believe any of you suffer as I do, cried Amy, <laughs> for you. You can hear my kitty scratching something. Winston, please stop. Don't have to go to school with an impertinent girl, with impertinent girls who plague you if you don't know your lessons and laugh at your dresses and label your father if he isn't rich and insult you when your nose isn't nice. If you mean lie, oh, there's my phone. Back to reality. Okay, bye-bye.